Hey guys, okay, so right now I'm going to give you a little relationship advice from not only what I have heard and seen with other people, but from what I have experienced myself. Um, first thing, and one of the most important things about a relationship is you have to be honest. Even if you did something horrible and you regret it and it's stupid, you have to be honest about it. You can't lie about stuff. Um, because that will make um, your significant other not trust you. And, okay, so yeah, I, I have lied about things that weren't even that big of a deal. I don't even know why I lied about them. And I realized that it would have been a hell of a lot easier just to tell the truth in the first place. So, um... Yeah, please be honest and truthful, because that is a key to a healthy and happy relationship. Um, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, another thing with honesty. Um, don't give them a reason to be jealous. I I I went through that. My my last ex who I was head over heels in love with, um, was a very jealous person. And I didn't give her reasons to be jealous, but in the past, she'd been cheated on, and she had her ex-boyfriend flirt with other girls, and he would completely deny it. I think that's part of the reason why she was so controlling and jealous and insecure with me so uh yeah don't ruin it for the other people please um let's see uh another thing um you have to talk talk to each other don't hide don't don't run away talk um you have to have open communication be open with them about what you like, what you don't like, what makes you happy, sad, angry. And if they're not doing something that, or if they are doing something that you don't like, tell them. Don't just blow it off because they probably don't even realize that they're doing it. So it would be more beneficial for both of you if you just spoke up and said it. Let's see, um... You have to give them space. You have to give your partner space. Um, you cannot be the center of their world and have them still be happy. Or be their whole world is more of what I'm trying to say. You can't text them constantly and when they don't text you back for five minutes, freak out on them and ask them, oh, who are you talking to? Where are you? What are you doing? Who are you with right now? It sucks. So don't do that. It's not a very nice thing to do. Don't be stupid and go through their phones or their Facebook or freak out because they're talking to their friends. You know, I, I'm, I'm saying this mostly because this has happened to me with my last girlfriend. Um, don't be all up in their business and freak out when they can't come see you, or don't, um, mostly just give them space that they need. You both need space. And if you need more space, tell them. Um, if you feel like you just need a little bit of time, tell them. Um, it's not a bad thing. It's, it's for yourself. Um, time is something that you know, we do have limited time, but sometimes it's good to just do things for yourself and just have time to chill and think and express your feelings and explore your feelings. Um, another thing is you have to, how am I going to say this? You have to know that 
your partner accepts you for who you are and who you want to be. And you can't be too picky or specific, but you have have to know that they don't love you for money or looks or something. It has to be for a deeper connection because it's otherwise it's not love. It's lust or just what you want. You have to be with someone who will treat you right. Be with someone who will make you happy all the time and make you feel like you're on top of the world. Don't sacrifice your beliefs or values or morals for someone who you think you love. Because if they loved you back, they would never ask that of you. Be yourself. Just... And don't fall too fast. I've done that too. But, um... Yeah. So, if you guys have any questions, let me know. If I didn't cover anything, sorry this is so long. But, um... Let me know. Hit me up, bros.